Hey there, so this video is meant for those who are finding it hard to do the U-turn mechanic and want an alternative way to get around corners quickly without relying too much on U-turning. Maybe because perhaps it is too hard or too much of a hassle to actually do. And that is where air braking actually comes in. Now, commonly, most people don't use air braking anymore once they master U-turning. But I still do have people asking me questions like, can I stick solely to air braking since U-turning is too hard to do? And this video will shortly answer that question. Now to keep this video short and simple, I'm gonna give you some quick benefits for both air braking and U-turning, some simple tests that I've actually done between these two and what you should do instead based on my personal recommendation. Now for those of you who don't know, all you need to do is to hold the square button on the PS4 to rotate your cart whichever direction you want and whenever you let go, you will get slingshotted to where you are facing it and that is what's known as air braking, most of us already know that. And yes, this can actually be used in most areas where U-turning is actually needed. Take this shortcut at Hot Air Skyway for example. Usually people would just do a U-turn to get over this quickly. But air braking kind of does the same job too, only at a slight sacrifice in pacing, since your car will not be changing its direction until you've let go of the handbrake button. Now yes, for bigger jumps like this one, air braking is certainly a viable option and a good alternative if you can't do U-turning. But what about sharp cornering while you're actually on the ground? We know that U-turning can do an amazing job in this, but how does air braking actually hold up in this sort of scenario? Now while air braking actually sounds easy because you only press one button to initiate the entire thing, the main problem when it comes to sharp cornering on the ground, it is actually way harder to do than U-turning. And that is mainly because you have to be really really strict with your timing, where you will only have a split second to rotate your cart before actually hitting the ground. And furthermore, there is a huge risk of not letting go of the brake button in time, losing all of that boost and speed for nothing. And this is where actually U-turning will take the upper hand in every way. First of all, U-turning on the ground is actually far safer than air braking than you actually think, simply because of the nature of how the button inputs of U-turning actually works. Now I've already covered how to do U-turning in another video easily, which I'll get to that in the end of the video, but this actually means that the risk of losing your boost is actually far less likely when you are using U-turning compared to air braking. And also, because you are able to turn while you are in the air with U-turning, you are able to do far more sharper turns in these scenarios. I simply do not see air braking actually working during this turbo track section as you need as much turning radius as you can and you don't really have that much time to actually constantly slingshotting yourself over and over again. While I did a test in Oxide Station and it seems that that solely rely on air braking is actually possible in a way. But I do have to say it is far more harder to be consistent there as the issue of braking on the ground by accident happens a lot to me as well. But yeah, as you can see, you can get away with air braking to a certain extent and you can use it to get away from some sticky situations such as the hot air skyway shortcut here and other cases where you will get a little bit more air time to actually adjust yourself before that slingshot effect actually takes place from air braking. But I do recommend at the same time to practice U-turning and then use it full time once you've actually got the hang of it. As I don't see a reason for you to use air braking forever, especially since there are just so many tracks that requires U-turning. So yeah, although I do want to say that if you still find U-turning extremely hard to do and for whatever reason you just don't ever want to use it, sure, go ahead and use air braking. But just don't expect to get ahead too far in the game with it as it is quite unlikely for you to actually win in online races or the harder challenges in CTR Nitro Field. But hey, since you're already here, I have a perfect guide for you to master U-turning. It is easy to follow and I'm sure you will master it with this guide in time. This is the Viperian signing off, thanks for watching and I'll see you there.